Remember the tips we shared about playing with kites or balloons near power lines. You don't want to get shocked like a modern day Ben Franklin. He got lucky. Now you know better. Next, we'll look at how to keep safe at home. Once power gets close to customers, the highest voltage is stepped down for homes and businesses by transformers. These are mounted on a pole. Throwing rocks or shooting guns at transformers or insulators is asking for trouble. If you ever notice fluid leaking from a transformer, report it for hazardous material cleanup. Don't try it yourself. Pad-mounted transformers are at ground level in locked metal cases. Never pry them open or dig near them. If you find one unlocked, call DWP. Children shouldn't play on or around them. When building a fence near one, leave at least 12 feet of clearance on the side that opens and three feet around the other sides. If you see pad mounts in a neighborhood without utility poles, it's a good bet that power is distributed underground. You can't see them, don't know that they're there, but power lines below can be just as dangerous as those above. Never assume that you're safe. Diggers should always call ahead of time to check for the presence of local power cables. Diggers should give advance notice by calling this toll-free number, 1-800-227-2600. Be sure to specify the exact location of the intended excavation. You're not just forestalling a possible electrical outage. You could be preventing electric shock and its severe consequences. I remember the pain just so unbearable. And it made me really think, you know, you know, why do, why do we do what we do and to be careful. When power reaches the home, homeowners are responsible for electrical safety. Aluminum ladders are light and easy to lift, but they make superb conductors and a great path to ground. While painting or cleaning gutters, ladders should be kept away from electrical wires. I was leaning on something and I created ground through my chest right at the point of contact. That gave me a pretty good shock, more than anything else I had ever felt. It was only 120 volts, but it got me pretty good. More people actually get killed with uh, 120 volts than they do our, you know, around our, the volts we, we encounter, but obviously there's a lot more opportunities. Fiberglass ladders are insulators. They are a safer choice than aluminum or even wood. Keep in mind that water and electricity don't mix. All outdoor outlets, lighting fixtures, and bulbs should be weatherproof. Don't use electrical equipment like saws or hedge trimmers on wet plants or damp grass. It's a good idea to operate electrical gear wearing rubber-soled shoes instead of going barefoot. Still, rubber soles only help with low voltage under ideal conditions. Don't trim trees yourself the power lines run through them. What a lot of people don't realize is trees actually absorb moisture out of the ground, so they're full of moisture and they absorb minerals from the ground, so they're actually a conductor of electricity. So not only is the hazard this wire itself, but actually the leaves and the tree branches can become a hazard too. Let's take a look. We'll call this guy Doofus. Doofus has a metal trimming rod in his hand. They still use these in northern parts of California, not so much in the city of Los Angeles anymore. These fiberglass pruners are a lot better option. Let's take a look. Doofus comes up, wants to trim this tree, doesn't look up and live. Comes in contact with the tree branch, and it takes that electricity back down to the ground. Remember, we were teaching the concept that electricity is always trying to get back down to the ground where it was generated from. Let's take a look. It goes right through his feet, actually, back down to the ground. It's the same thing as if they were coming in contact with this power line. Goes right back out the ground. In the past decade, the DWP has stepped up its tree pruning efforts. The program does more than promote public safety. It helps keep power flowing. Today, there are far fewer power outages caused by tree limbs falling in storms. If your trees are growing too close to power lines, call DWP to have the branches cut safely. All extension cords should be designed for outdoor use and grounded. Be sure to check them periodically for wear or frayed insulation. We actually had a, a fatality that uh, happened several years ago where a young 16-year-old kid just got done washing his car. And uh, he wanted to vacuum the inside of it, so he grabbed a cord out of the garage, plugged, plugged the cord into the garage, plugged in the vacuum cleaner, and the cord looked like that. And he actually flipped the vacuum cleaner on, and he's standing barefooted in the driveway. Pools and hot tubs demand a lot of caution. The biggest risks come from faulty underwater lighting, aging wiring, and pumps that aren't grounded.
be cautious of building pools near electrical lines. And when it's time to clean, keep aluminum handles far away. Don't take electrical appliances poolside. If this blender falls in, this drink could give a fatal kick. The best protection is to make sure that all outdoor equipment is protected by ground fault circuit interrupters. A GFI is a smart circuit breaker that continually monitors all wires going to a circuit. If any current starts to flow to ground, the breaker trips. It's specifically designed to prevent electricity from flowing through a person. If you used one with a faulty hair dryer, it would react so quickly that you wouldn't even charge a hair. Before installing, don't forget to kill power to the entire circuit. I didn't want to turn off any more breakers because I didn't know if they would turn back on, so I decided to replace the rest of the switches and receptacles while it was hot. Um, being careful, but I still got shocked. You know that you touched electricity, and that's just 120 volts. Um, I've never touched anything stronger than that, and I sure hope I never do. If you're a homeowner and you're trying to change a light fixture or something like that, shut off, that, shut off those breakers and uh, test them.